I have a question for you today that I think should be pretty easy to answer. I'm wondering if given the choice, and not just a one-time choice like a dare or something, which glass of water would you be willing to drink? Which source of water would you be willing to drink from for the rest of your life? That clear, clean, pure one? Or the one that looks pretty polluted? And by the way, it is pretty polluted. That is not tea, that is not weak coffee, that is not flat root beer or cream soda or anything else. It's really disgusting water. Which would you choose? The choice is obvious, right? Well, our scripture for today comes from Philippians 4, verse 13, where Paul says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Now, Paul had been on the top of the world, invited all the parties. You know, everybody thought well of him. They thought he was a great guy. He'd been on the bottom of the world, imprisoned, beaten, spit at, ridiculed, made fun of. And Paul realized something in that. He realized that it wasn't the things that, was, that were happening around him, but it was what was within him, what was feeding him, what was giving him strength and life that really mattered. You see, Paul had been living in a world where he was drinking the polluted water, where all the, all the cares and concerns of the world uh, seemed to be the most important to him, what was happening around him, what was happening to him. But in an encounter with Christ, he saw that that water was polluted and he was filled with the living water that Christ gives to all of us through our baptism. And he drank that water down and he continued to drink that water down, to be filled with it, to draw from it again and again and again. So whether he was going to a party with a bunch of friends or whether he was stuck in a pandemic at home, he was filled with the presence of Christ and that is what gave him strength. Drink up, my friends. That is the water of life.